Hello and welcome to Rocky Desert. My name is Mentors and well, we finally arrived at a crucial point. The experimental build has gone to production. So, well, I did a lot of work. As you can see, we got three assemblers running and I'm going to take you guys on a close look to that pretty soon. But I first want to see what we unlocked and how we are going to get it. So because I was close to this place, unavailable in early access. So I guess we still don't have the tiers 7 and 8 unlocked. So we should get to the hub. We should get to the hub. Because I did read we had to unlock some stuff. Uh, we do have the conveyor belts. And this is definitely going to become a big game changer because, well, I, I have to redo a lot of stuff uh, because, well, we're going to make this all look beautiful. We're, we are definitely going to do that. So I guess the next few let's plays, oh man, look at those splitters, they look amazing we are going to change a lot of stuff around well maybe not a lot because some stuff can be easily changed but we'll have to think about that because well in in this situation I might not change that much but in this situation I will definitely change some stuff and well we are definitely going to make those things be of the past but now for what have we done because in the last two episodes we've done a lot of work that's kind of new as you might remember we needed more well, we needed a lot more steel products, so we built another pipeline and we made this quite beautiful looking thing go up. And it is going to the big assembly line. It's far from done, but well, this is the assembly line and this one will become quite beautiful in the next few episodes. But, well, we have to do a lot of work because I, I like this style. And so we are going to keep these belts uh, this way. And, well, we're going to change these things up because these were a big problem. Because I had, I had a lot of problem making this work because this was pretty close. And as you can see, I got two splitters. Let me show it from the other way. On top of each other. And then go a different way. So that was one hell of a technique. And oh, I connected one. And as you can see, we are producing heavy module frames every almost minute. It, it takes a minute to make this thing. But this thing is going to be filled with assemblers so then you might wonder where did all the power go what has happened down here well uh, let's see if we can go down the easy way uh, that's kind of dangerous way down so let's do it the easy way and then we're going to walk to this entrance point of the factory and I kind of wanted to try something new because I knew uh, that there was going to be a change and elevators were coming in. And I kind of like the way that you can walk over these constructors. It's, it's not cosmetically perfect, but well, that's kind of hard. And this is where we make the chips. We got some chips coming in and I could go put that this way and do even more chips. I can if we need, because we're definitely going to need more. And then we can make the computers go on top of this and make the second level of this hall totally committed to 
computers. Alright, now let's take a last look what we done. I'm going to first go to the hub and see what we need to unlock and research because I kinda curious. So these things are also kind of the past, but what well, we have to change them. So let's take a look at the hub. We need the medical inhaler. And we need well we still got those and what's the jetpack i need the jetpack unlocked and the gas mask so that that's kind of the thing so i don't see the train yet and i kind of disappointed in that and i don't see the don't see the explorer so i need to figure out what and how to unlock these and well, I did read we had to do some research, but what we'll have to do that pretty soon. I think we have to research the Caterium or the Caterium, the uh, quick wire, and we should have plenty of that, so we can do that in the meantime. I still haven't really found a way to use it. But I do know I am going to need it. Oh, the, oh yes, this is also something we made. It's not beautiful yet. But well, that will be gone as well because we got elevators now. So a lot of things will change in this factory because I'm a cosmetic guy. And I really like to have stuff nice and smooth. We totally cleared this all out. And well, let me get 500 of these. Oh, I already had. I already had the stuff on me, and we need a lot of upgrades. So, we did a lot of upgrades so that we got enough coal. And I guess that is going to be the main process. Getting stuff up so I can walk beneath it. That's the main goal. I think of the next let's play. And we were supposed to get more iron rods and make computers automated. But we will focus on that as well. But it will take some time. That's for sure. Quickwire, how much do you want to remove? How much do you want for research? That's going to take us some time, and I guess we should also look into exploring, but well, that's for another episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick tour, and I guess in the next tour I will take you back to the big uh, factory because it's far from finished, the power factory. And uh, we are going to do some exploring soon as well, because, well, I want to have some cool stuff. And I need to do some research for that. And I think the quick wire is the way to go. Oh man, look at the beautiful beach. I should make a hotel around this place, just because it looks nice. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, that was a close one. All right. I guess this is where we're going to end the episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and uh, see you all in the next Let's Play. It's going to be up on Thursday and also on Saturday. See you soon and keep building.